Hello and welcome. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make some delicious ice treats known as volis. We're gonna be sharing seven different recipes and make sure to stick around to the end. I'm gonna share with you how to keep these delicious treats nice and healthy. What you'll need for your fresas con crema, your strawberries and cream, are gonna be frozen strawberries, evaporated milk, vanilla essence, sugar, and for those of you that want that extra strawberry flavor, you can use strawberry essence, and you can see right here the one that I'm gonna be using. You also need to have some heavy whipping cream. This is gonna transform this recipe and make it one of a kind. Some condensed milk. I like to use lechera and I really like how easy and convenient this bottle is because it makes it easier for me to get a little taste while I'm making this recipe. <laughs> Now the strawberries that I chopped up really small are gonna be for when we fill our bolis. Now we're gonna take all of our ingredients and place them into our blender. And now we wanna blend until smooth. And boom, done! I find my little packets easier to fill when I place my fresas con crema in a cup. Open up your bag so we can make enough space. Take a few of your strawberries and place them nicely in your bag all the way at the bottom. You can use the funnel that the bags come with or you can pour uh, like I do. I just find it a lot easier to pour straight in to the little bag and it's a lot faster for me and less messy. But if the kids are helping, I think the funnel works best. You wanna leave a little space at the top to add a few more strawberries to get everybody excited for the strawberries and cream. Press it, and if for some reason you just get a little bit, you can just clean that off and set it to the side. For our mangonada, we are gonna need some frozen mangos. And the reason you wanna use frozen, it's because it just preserves that flavor of mango when it's nice and ripe and it just works out perfectly. You're also gonna need some water, sugar, tajin, chamoy, and your favorite Mexican candy is what I would say. But what I like to do is I like to take the tomarroca and I like to coat it with tajin just like this. And these are the ones that we're gonna be using right at the bottom when we fill our bolis. And you're gonna need some key lime juice. If you're using fresh key lime juice, it's gonna really take this over the top. Go ahead and add all your ingredients. And I like to balance the flavors by adding a pinch of salt. Now let's blend until smooth. And boom, done. For your mangonada, you wanna open up your popsicle pouch and you wanna place your candies. And if you wanna skip the candies, you can. I suggest you don't. Sprinkle in some tajin. Chamoy. Pour a little in. When you get to about the halfway mark, Add a little bit more chamoy. I know what I'm telling you. You guys know I eat the nastiest, most sour, gross things that our Mexican community has to offer. I love it. Is it nasty or is it naughty? It is so sexy and so naughty. <laughs> so go ahead and continue to pour. Pour some more chamoy. A little bit more tajin. And let me tell you, when you first open this little tasty thing up, that little, this little combo really gets you excited for the remaining part of this and to get yourself all the way to the bottom to that candy. It's such a treat. I feel so bad because on our movie date, I kept saying, oh, ooh, ah. <laughs> I convinced Cloud to like the, the sexy, naughty candy you guys, and she absolutely loved this. Can you guys believe Sweetheart Cloud? Always the sweetest tooth. Absolutely loved it. Yes, it's my favorite. This one's your favorite? Yes. Oh my good. I thought it was gonna be the fresas con crema. That's my second favorite. And boom, done, friends. I'm gonna continue filling up our little popsicle packs 
For our piña loca recipe, which is crazy pineapple, you need to have some ripe pineapple. I really like the ones in these containers because the juices that are in here already taste like pineapple juice and it's just gonna be perfect. You're also gonna need some water, a little bit of sugar, chamoy, your favorite Mexican candy. And in order to take this piña loca over the top, you are gonna need some tajin. This will really make it your favorite piña loca. And now we're just gonna pour our ingredients into our blender. And to balance the flavors, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Next, we're just gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done! I like to take the rielitos and cut them into long strips. Take your strip and place it right inside, just like that. And you can also take a salsa getty and drop it in here and let it fall wherever it goes, okay? Add a little bit of your tajin chamoy and for those of you that need a recipe for chamoy I'll link it in the description area we have uh, two on the channel for you that are super easy to make and next you just want to pour in your piña your pineapple at the halfway mark you want to add a little bit more of your chamoy and a sprinkle of your tajín Continue by filling it up. Leave a little space and add some more chamoy and some more tajin. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> and then just seal. And boom, done, amigos. For our chocolate bolis, I'll be using our chocolate and cocoa powder. I really like this Ghirardelli, but for those of you that like a little bit of the cinnamon flavor, you can use your Abuelita powder. You need milk and heavy whipping cream. Go ahead and add your ingredients. I prefer to mix in the blender for a smoother consistency. And now let's blend until smooth. And boom, done. You can line your popsicle pack with your favorite flavor. So you guys can do a little combo. You can make it comfortable for your home. For our lime bolis, you're gonna need some key lime juice. And let me tell you, don't skip out. If you don't have key lime, go ahead and use your regular lime. You're gonna need some water, sugar, and some pinches of salt. Go ahead and add your ingredients. And I like to add a pinch of salt. Go ahead and blend until all our ingredients are combined. And boom, done. For our lime bolis, I like to use tajin to give it that fun, tart, uh, candy style. Or you can make your other ones and give it a little bit of the sweetness with some condensed milk. Those are your three-in-one options for your lemon flavor. For our coconut bolis, you're gonna need some coconut milk, sugar, water, some sweet coconut flakes, and if you really wanna bring it and really make everybody happy, you can add a little bit of our condensed milk. And just when you think that I couldn't possibly love anything else other than blending, I have an amazing can opener. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead and add your ingredients. And blend until smooth. And boom, done friends. For our tamarind bolis, you can keep it classy by using this class powder. 
and some water. You can enhance it by dropping a few of your natural tamarind seeds in here with the pulp. It's gonna be perfect. And this one is for the moms that wanna give the babies a treat, but we gotta get work done. So you're not gonna be left out. This is super easy and you can use any of the flavors that you like from class. And if you're gonna be adding the whole tamarind in, just tell the kids there's a seed of their young. You don't wanna put the seed in there, so you just wanna tear it just like this. And I'm a pro, this was one of my favorite treats growing up, it still is. Now the reason why she's giving a PSA is because one of her sisters, her only sister, choked on a seed once. She did when she was just a little lad. <laughs> and boom, done. Add your water and your tamarind mix. And now we're just gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. One of the ingredients I like to add to our tamarind bolis is this seasoned candy. And when you can't find it in my pantry, you can find it in the Amazon storefront or in Cloud's Purse. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all have ever seen what's in Cloud's Purse, you guys will find one of these. It's, I'm not even kidding. Absolutely. So go ahead and pour it in there. It's really nice and thick and that's what I love about it. Some of you are saying, ew, Steph, and those kids, those adults that grew up eating all of these sexy, naughty Mexican snacks are like, yeah! <laughs> Let us know in the comments which friend you are. And that is your three-in-one variety pack. I'm gonna enjoy my favorite one right here with you, which is a lemon one. It's light, it's refreshing, especially for this heat wave that we're having. I feel like I'm having an agua fresca. I feel like I'm having a frozen slushy. It's just absolutely divine. Friends, the way you're gonna keep this healthy is by managing your sugars. All the agua frescas, all the drinks that I've shown you how to make on this channel, you can place them into your bolis and you can make it comfortable for your home. And what that means is that you get to decide how much sugar goes in here. The other wonderful part is that you can sell these and you can go to your kids' baseball games, their sports events, and you name it, you guys can sell these. Our mom was known for having the best bolis on the block. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I know that these look like the more upscale bolis, okay, I'm not too bougie. Get the sandwich bags, the ones that don't have the little zip on the top, tie them up, and boom, done. That easy. The current uh, flavors we have are fresas con crema, strawberries with cream, chocolate, mangonada, uh, lime, coconut, and this is an orange nerd candy mixture that Bebe loves, and all of these uh, will be listed for you in the description area. But the current favorite one is the mangonada, of course. And for our friends that don't know what mangonada is? Mangonada is mango, tajin, chamoy. It's more of a Mexican candy treat. And if you guys want to learn how to make ice cream, I'm sure Cloud would love to have us over at her house so she can teach us how she makes us our ice cream. That's Dole Whip in the back and that one's the orange ice cream. Yay. Thank you, Cloud. Mm -hmm. All right, baby, pick your favorite. Okay, Which one do you like? I like these two, but I picked this one. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!